stringing a tennis racket, you may be wondering if there's a way to check the tension to see if the tension has fallen or if it's maintaining its tension. They do make products on the market that can assist with that. In this case, I'm using uh, the brand is called Turna. It's called a string meter. There's several other, other uh, brands and varieties of this, but this is a way to check the tension on the racket. I will say, uh, it, although it does work, I, I don't think the science is quite there to get an exact reading. It'll help you the, to get a, a general idea of the tension, but uh, in my opinion, I don't think it's as exact as it really needs to be. But it is a tool that uh, is available, and it's a tool that a lot of people use. So uh, let me just show you how it works. Basically, the back of the this tension gauge uh, has these two uh, prongs that you put uh on the center of the racket uh, frame or the racket string bed uh, so that main or that center string goes in between those two and then we can just turn uh, the string meter one direction and it's going to be giving you some pushback because it's uh, testing the tension on the racket and then that that center string that you lined up uh, when you put this on the string bed originally you want to continue uh, turning this dial until it gets to uh, until it gets to that string where it's uh, perfectly in line with that like V on the, the string meter. So you want that center string to be lined up with that V of the string meter. As you can see here, the tension here is about 51, 50 pounds. Uh, it's, uh, I strung this particular racket around 53, so uh, means the tension's fallen a little bit uh, if this is correct. Again, I would say this is a good way to get an estimate of it, but uh, my opinion, the science isn't quite there yet to get an exact reading on it, but it, it does help. It, these tools exist for a reason, so it's it's good to have them. Uh, so that is a way to check the tension after stringing. Uh, remember, after stringing, the tension just right away will be lowered uh, as soon as you tie those those uh, tie off knots and release tension and, and hit with the racket. It will release uh, uh, some amount of tension. I've heard figures around 10%. Uh, so that's perfectly normal for a racket to lose tension. So just remember, uh, regardless of what material you use, after stringing a racket, they will lose some tension after playing with it and after being strung.